What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now PS Edition. I'm Alex, and this video I want to discuss Predator Hunting Grounds for the first time actually on this channel. Now, I've made a couple videos on Predator on my main channel, Podcast Now, but I wanted to talk about it specifically for PlayStation, but kind of give an overview of this game uh, generally, you know, for this video topic, which is basically I think people are underrating how big Predator can be. Uh, for PlayStation. Now, not necessarily us, right? Anybody that probably watches this video, anybody that's looking forward to this game, which seems to definitely, especially from the videos I've made on podcasts now, seem to have definitely been picking up steam, right? And I think as we continue to get closer to April, I think we'll just even, you know, do even better. Uh, and when you look at PlayStation this year, Sony, like, you know, last year they kind of took the year off for the most part, right? They had games like Days Gone, they had stuff like that. Uh, but you know, some of them, you know, they were kind of disappointments. None of them really lived up to their potential. 2018 was obviously the year of single player, you know, story driven games. It was also the year of PlayStation with just so many amazing exclusives coming out that year. And 2020, I think, is definitely that bounce back year, right? And honestly, I feel like that's why people don't bring up Predator when, in a way, and like we talked about in other videos, this can be a like super secret like like you have this ace in your back pocket if you're Sony where like this game can do wonders for you and can be such a different game and can be a game that not a lot of people are expecting because again when you think of 2020 well uh, you know at the time this video goes up in just uh, under two weeks we have dreams coming out for PS4 so there's a PlayStation exclusive the media molecule game that's been in development for like ever I'm, I'm actually very very looking forward to it and excited for it. we'll be talking about it on both of the channels um, but I'm very excited for dreams but that comes out in two weeks on Valentine's Day. Uh, this is the year of The Last of Us Part Two. This is the year of Ghost of Tsushima. Um, this is the year of Final Fantasy VII's remake. This is the year of Neo 2. There are a lot, and I mean a lot, of PlayStation exclusives. Uh, the Yakuza 5 kind of, you know, uh, port, like, remaster thing. So there's loads of games coming to PS4 in 2020. This is a big year, considering it's also the last year, and, and like, <laughs> and this year will include the PS5. It's already the first eight months of the year. Going to be a really, really big year uh, for, especially, I guess, the first eight months. It's going to be a big year for the PS4. But I think the game, like, I listed all those games, and honestly, if you were to ask just a casual fan, I think, or a person who knows PlayStation, they probably wouldn't be able to name you off like Dreams or Neo. But like people are in the know when it comes to Final Fantasy VII's remake, when it comes to The Last of Us, Ghost of Tsushima. I think you throw those in, and then maybe even Neo and Dreams. Neo was kind of that sly release that came out a few years ago, did really, really good. Uh, obviously, still got the sequel, so people are looking forward to it. And then Dreams, I think people just know about Dreams a lot just because of how long it's been in development and because, you know, you say Needy Molecule, maybe they don't know who that is, but then you say, well, they made Little Big Planet, and then maybe they know. So the game that I feel like gets left behind, the whole point, is, the, is Predator. I think Predator, honestly, is like an afterthought to a lot of people, but here's the deal. This game is going to be good. To be quite honest with you, I don't think I'm getting Neo 2. I know I'm getting Dreams. I know I'm getting Ghost of Tsushima. I know I'm getting The Last of Us. I know I'm getting Final Fantasy VII's remake. And I don't know if I'm leaving any out. I sure hope I'm not leaving any big exclusives out. But you can let me know in the comments if I am and, and any ones that you guys are looking forward to. Um, but, like, you know, besides Neo, I'm getting all the rest. And Neo 2 I may end up getting eventually anyway. Uh, but Predator is one that's, like... This is for a completely different group of people. A lot of the games, Ghost of Tsushima and The Last of Us, are maybe the closely, uh, the most close linked. There is some comparisons you can you can put to them, but very very little. I would say just out of all of them, they are maybe the two closest together. But like Final Fantasy VII remake is obviously its whole animal and dreams. It's just, it's its whole thing. But Predator serves a vast audience as well, and it's the multiplayer group. And to be quite honest with you, none of the other ones do that absolutely none of the other ones do that um, and I get it and also I should probably say like it's not just a PlayStation exclusive it's PlayStation and PC I don't know if there's cross play I just assume that there is I assume if you have PC and you have PlayStation you'll be able to play uh, you know with however it's not confirmed I hope I guess I don't assume I hope that's what they do but as of right now if, as far as I know uh, that's not a confirmed feature but I truly truly uh, hope it is but 
you know, none of those other games really serve multiplayer. Now, Dreams kind of does, right? Because Dreams is like you get to make these worlds, you get to make these levels, you get to make these creations that are, like, absolutely insane. Again, I, I'm really a big fan of Dreams all of a sudden, um, but I really, really like the idea of it. So that is a, you know, in order to really experience Dreams fully, you do have to have a multiplayer, you have to have an internet connection, right, so you can play other people's uh, games and all that kind of stuff. So I agree with that, but, like, The Last of Us doesn't come with multiplayer at launch. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima does not have multiplayer so predator being able to play with your friends being able to experience again that dead by daylight slash friday the 13th feel but only on playstation and pc but you know console wise only on playstation that's a big deal i mean even if it is just friday the 13th level friday the 13th at launch was huge dead by daylight we don't even have to tell you you know i don't have to tell you how big dead by daylight is right it's a massive thing remember where rocket league started off too this multiplayer experience a lot of people were like will it work but it totally looked fun and then you got it for free playstation plus free game rocket league and it was it became one of the greatest games ever created in my personal opinion i think a lot of people would say the same so like sony's had this these kind of opportunities before where it's like you don't expect all them i mean rocket league i really really don't from where people expected that game to be to what it actually became there's really no comparison but predator it isn't the same thing because again it's got the background of the same developers as Friday the 13th uh, so like it's got that but it's I don't really feel like it's looked at all that much but hey if this game comes out and this game does again just as good as Friday the 13th it doesn't even beat it and we've talked about that why I think it can beat it and it can be bigger say it just comes out and it's equal to it and it's just that you know the the predator uh, well, like the kind of killer to survivor kind of game that we're all kind of used to with Dead by Daylight and Friday the 13th if it's even just that automatically it's like you know we have other games like that but out of all the exclusives of 2020 this one does stand out for a different reason and it's just another exclusive that microsoft doesn't have coming this year so it's a it's a really good spot for sony to be in i hope again it's just an example of i'm really I'm worried in a sense that I really don't want them to mess this up because I'm every video I make on Predator I get more and more excited. I'm very very looking forward to it. I just hope that they don't mess it up somehow. But this is easily like a secret weapon uh, for Sony in 2020 that I don't think a lot of people are paying attention to. So guys, let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Are you looking forward to Predator? Is it one of those PlayStation exclusive games that you're going to be buying this year? If not, what are the other Sony exclusive or the PS4 exclusive games you're going to be getting in 2020? Let me know. Make sure you guys subscribe to this YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when these videos go up. And there'll be more videos every single day. We do a video a day on this channel. I hope to see you guys there.